Let the earth acclaim the Lord. Worship the Lord in gladness. Welcome to Daily Devotions at Cram and Kirk. This is Thursday the 1st of October 2020 and the theme today is Transitions. Let us pray. Transitioning God, the wonders of your creation, the splendour of the heavens, the beauty of the earth, the order and richness of nature all speak to us of your glory. The coming of your Son, the presence of your Spirit, the changing fellowship of your Church, show us the marvel of your love. We worship and adore you this morning. Amen. Transitions. For those of you who are interested in transitions, one of the great books is by a man called William Bridges <clears throat> and it's called Managing Traditions and it's one of the books people refer to across the centuries, <laughs> so across the decades rather. He was writing from the 1970s and died just a couple of years ago. He was a very able man. Um, he had a degree in English literature, a degree in management, and he became famous for helping organisations transition from one place to another place. For me, the interesting thing is that for his model, which was a management model, <clears throat> he used the story of Moses as the central metaphor. Moses had taken people <clears throat> and led them out of Egypt and then had 40 years in what he called the neutral zone as they moved from where they were to where they were going, the promised land. I'm going to read just a little extract from Mr Bridges and then an extract from the Bible from the book of Deuteronomy. The neutral zone is like the wilderness through which Moses led his people. That took 40 years, you remember, not because they were lost, but because the generation that had known Egypt had to die off before the Israelites could enter the promised land. Taken literally, that's a pretty discouraging idea that things don't really change until a whole generation of workers dies. But on a less literal level, the message of Moses' long journey through the wilderness is both less daunting and more applicable to your situation. The outlook, attitudes, values, self-images and ways of thinking that were functional in the past have to die or change before people can be ready for life in the present. Moses took care of transition's ending phase when he led the people out of Egypt. But it was the 40 years in the neutral zone that got Egypt out of his people. It won't take you or us 40 years, but you aren't going to be able to do it in a few weeks either. He has a couple of funny quotes in the book and I'm going to share one of them with you. When you're thinking about speeding up change, it takes nine months to have a baby, no, ma no matter how many people you put on the job. And now I'm going to read from Deuteronomy chapter 1, that very story of Moses. Just an extract from verse 3. The Lord our God spoke to us at Horeb, saying, You have stayed long enough on this mountain. Resume your journey and go to the hill country of the Amorites as well as the neighbouring regions, the Araba, the hill country, the Shepi's La, the Negeb, and the sea coast, the land of the Canaanites and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have set a land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that I swore to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, and to give to them and to their descendants hereafter. This was the 40th year on the first day of the 11th month when Moses spoke to the Israelites just as the Lord had commanded him to speak to them. The last 
quote I'm going to give is from Alvin Toffler, who says, Our moral responsibility is not to stop the future, but to shape it. Let's keep that in mind as we head towards a period of transition in this month of October and beyond. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, be with us in every experience of life. When we neglect you, remind us of your presence. When we are frightened, give us courage. When we are tempted, give us power to resist. When we are anxious and worried, give us peace. When we are weary in service, give us energy and zeal. Loving God, we give thanks for your goodness, your love towards us, for the joy of home and family, for the companionship of friends and neighbours, for the activities that fulfil our lives, for the strength that supports us, for the love that surrounds us, both when our joy is complete and when it is touched by pain. We give thanks for those who have died in the faith, especially those known to us, who have entered into the joy of your closer presence. And now we pray with the whole church, in heaven and on earth, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and love of God. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you from this day and forever. Amen.